Hello again, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Joe Hendy, the Android Authority App Guy, and I have been playing with the NVIDIA Shield console for quite some time now. Let's take a look at the best games for it. First on our list is Anomaly 2. The game was one of the first to feature extra features for the NVIDIA Tegra K1 chipset, which include a number of graphical enhancements that are made to impress, and heads up, it worked. This game is graphically impressive and fun to boot. Anomaly 2 is a tower defense game that features tower defense, tower offense, a single player campaign, and of course, online play. It also has full controller support and a fairly reasonable price tag. Badland was a critically acclaimed game when it first came out for its simple but challenging gameplay, slick looking graphics, and old school feel. It may not have the pizzazz or depth of many of these other games, but it's a great free option that's also kid friendly and it won't take up too much of your storage. It features a single player campaign that's decently long, a co op mode, and it's easy to play on touchscreens if you're on a shield tablet. The Bard's Tale has been out for a few years now, but when it comes to the best bangs for your buck, you'd be hard pressed to beat The Bard's Tale. It features a 20 hour storyline filled with comedy and quirkiness, old school RPG style gameplay, and complete controller support for only $1.99. Over the years, the game has also been updated to include new content, cloud saves, Google. Google Play games achievements and in-app purchases to buff yourself up if you don't feel like level grinding but you don't need it to succeed. Dead Trigger 2 is a first person shooter where you must mow down tons of zombies. It was among the first games to get controller support and remains one of the better looking shooters available for Android. It has been continuously updated to add new content and it also has great graphics, easy controls and challenging gameplay. It puts most other zombie games to shame and it's another one of the rare options that is both really good and also free to download. Grand Theft Auto has long been a cornerstone on a lot of platforms and Android is no different. You have your choice between three classic Grand Theft Auto titles, but frankly the longest and most stable is Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. All three games come with complete controller support, decent graphics, and tons upon tons of gameplay and shenanigans to get yourself into. Also, none of these games have in-app purchases. Half-Life 2 was one of the games developed specifically for the Nvidia Shield series of devices and it is probably the best first-person shooter available for the platform period. Along with the core game, Nvidia has also released episode one and episode two to expand the core game even further. They're a bit expensive, but the campaign is fantastic, the graphics are great, and it's an amazing option for nostalgic value or first time players alike. For those looking for something a little more old school, Chemco Games has a number of games available for the Shield console. These games all either have an SNES or PlayStation JRPG feel to them, which is great for those looking for some nostalgia. They're relatively inexpensive, include a ton of gameplay, and have all received generally high reviews. There should be around five or six total games available, so you'll have to search for Chemco in the Shield Hub in order to find them all. Leo's Fortune was released to exceptional reviews and is currently among the highest rated paid games out there. It's a side-scrolling platform adventure game where you play as a little green fuzzball looking to reclaim his lost fortune. The game uses classic platformer puzzles along with a three-star system for a bit of replayability. The graphics are surprisingly good, the gameplay is simple to learn, and it's a really strong offering overall. Limbo is a side-scrolling atmospheric puzzle game that was released earlier in 2015. It features a unique silhouetted design with some really creepy monsters and challenging obstacles to keep you guessing. It's not that long of a game, but it does feature auto-saving and Google Play Games achievements. The mechanics are solid, and it's not usually hard to figure out what you're supposed to do. $4.99 is a bit expensive for how short the game is, but it is a really good game. Machinarium is another Android game that's been around for years, but can still be fun for fans of puzzle games. You play as a robot as you find your way through a mess of obstacles obstacles in order to find your lost love. The puzzles are fun, the game can be challenging, and the graphics are pretty decent. The game has also been continuously updated over the years to include Google Play game support, better graphics, and cloud saving. There are worse ways to spend $5. Mobile has always been a challenge for sports games, and there are only a few out there worth playing, and NBA Jam is one of them. This throwback classic was one of the first to embrace the Android TV and Nvidia Shield platforms, and remains one of the best sports games for those platforms. In this title, you play two-on-two -two basketball with a very relaxed set of rules and some fun game mechanics. It's $4.99 but includes offline multiplayer and plenty of nostalgic value. Never Alone is one of the more expensive games on the list but it's also one of the best. In this ridiculously good looking side schooler you play as a little girl named Nuna and her pet fox as you traverse the arctic while avoiding obstacles and dangers. You can play as both the girl or the fox by switching between the two and you can grab a second controller and play offline co-op with both characters at once. This game is really good. Overkill 3 is a third person shooter with a whole ton of features. There is a campaign mode which can be played online with other people. Along with that, there are boss fights, gun customization, endless mode, and a whole lot more. When you pair that with decent graphics, you get a pretty solid game. It is free with in-app purchases, but those looking for some cheaper games with a lot of 
content should get quite a bit of enjoyment out of this one. Pac-Man 256 isn't the most impressive game on the list, but that doesn't mean it isn't a lot of fun. Despite turning Pac-Man into an infinite runner, the developers managed to keep the spirit of Pac-Man alive and even added a few new features. Combine that with the kid-friendly atmosphere, the small storage footprint, comparatively speaking of course, and the cheap price tag, and this is definitely one of those games that everyone's just going to have to have. Like Half-Life 2, Portal is an Nvidia Shield exclusive, and it's a really good one. For those who may not have played this iconic puzzle game, you play as a test subject for a crazy artificial intelligence, and you must use a tandem of portal guns to make your way through various tests. The game is dark, comical, challenging, and unique in a way that few other games, console or mobile, have been able to match ever since. It's a really, really good game. Riptide GP2 is a wave runner racing game and a favorite of ours here at Android Authority. The game features good graphics, easy controls, tricks and stunts, and Google Play games achievements and cloud saving. There are multiple race events including freestyle, hot laps, elimination, and standard races, and there is also a complete online support if you want to race against other people. It's about as solid of a racing game as you'll find. Soul Calibur is a classic fighting game that first came out in the late 1990s. It features a total of 19 playable characters and you can play them through a variety of fighting modes including arcade modes mode, time attack, survival, extra survival, and practice mode. It also comes with Google Play Games achievements and leaderboards so you can compare your scores to your friends. It's expensive, but there are no in-app purchases and it remains faithful to the original game. Square Enix has been slowly upgrading their collection to work with controllers, Android TV, and the Nvidia Shield devices. For now, they have Final Fantasy 3, Final Fantasy 4, and Secret of Mana listed as having full controller support and we imagine more will appear over time. These games are expensive, but they have no in-app purchases and they contain long, narrative-driven storylines, and tons of content. Telltale Games is one of the best mobile developers out there, period. Their games include Game of Thrones, Two Walking Dead games, The Wolf Among Us, and Tales from the Borderlands. All of these have good storylines that hold true to their respective franchises, decent graphics, and mechanics unique to their series. They can get a little expensive thanks to their episodic nature, but these are among the best games available on mobile, period. Last and certainly not least on our list is Valiant Hearts. This scrolling adventure game is a narrative-driven, four-part episode adventure based on the real-life story of four soldiers from World War One. It features a blend of exploration, adventure, and puzzles as you work from level to level trying to help others and avoid being killed. It's exceptionally well done with unique comic book style artwork and the price tag comes with all four episodes, an art book, and an interactive comic book. We did have a couple of honorable mentions and they are Nvidia Grid and of course emulators. Nvidia has been working on Grid for quite some time and it's almost ready for the mainstream. You can access it for free for the time being although that's going to change very shortly. For those who don't know Nvidia Video Grid is going to be like the Netflix of video games. If you're willing to try it out, you'll find a plethora of big name titles including Homefront, Devil May Cry 4, Dead Rising 2, Batman Arkham Origins, and Arkham Asylum, Borderlands, Saints Row the Third, and many, many more. There is no doubt that these games will help round out an already very strong offering of games from Nvidia. Emulators have been a longtime favorite way to play mobile games for many people for many years. With emulators currently available, you can play NES, SNES, Sega, and PlayStation games with very few problems, and a few other consoles such as the N64 and the GameCube are in development as we speak. Having these options adds an insurmountable number of games to the Nvidia Shield console lineup and literally all of the games and most of the emulators are controller friendly. Now it is an ethically gray area and we do hope that you're only emulating games that you actually own, but nevertheless, playing old school video games on a TV with a controller just feels right. If you want to check out our list of the best emulators, we'll have that along with the links for all of these applications in the video description below. Once again, I'm Joe Hindi, the Android Authority app guy why you're here, why not subscribe to the Android Authority YouTube channel. While you're at it, you can check out the written companion, which is in the video description below. And if you want to download any of these games, those links are also in the video description below. As always, thanks for watching, everybody, and have a wonderful day.